of murder victim Helen McCourt say they are seeking a judicial review of a decision to free her killer from prison, even though he won't say where he hid her body. The parole board have refused to block the release of Ian Sims, claiming he's no longer a risk to the public. They originally granted his freedom last November, but the Justice Secretary stepped in, asking the panel to reconsider. A law designed to stop murderers being paroled if they hide their victims' remains is going through Parliament in Helen's memory, but it hasn't made it onto the statute book yet. Rob Smith reports. Helen McCourt's murderer will be freed without ever revealing where her body is. The parole board standing by their original decision, despite an appeal against it. Ian Sims was jailed three decades ago after killing Helen in Billinge. He's already spent time out on day release. Soon he'll be released full stop. Helen's mother Mary said in a statement she doesn't believe Sims is safe to let out and will seek a judicial review. She couldn't speak on camera today, but has long told of the pain her family and others endure. No mother should have to wish that their child's body's been found, buried somewhere. And yet that's all we need, that's all we want. We just want our loved ones back to be able to put them to rest in a place of our choice and not the killer's. Parliament's considering a law named after Helen to keep killers locked up for keeping such secrets. It was in last October's Queen's speech. Offenders refusing to disclose information. But was delayed by the election. The MP who helped campaign for the law can't believe the parole board's decision. I just feel devastated for Marion McCord and her family, first and foremost. But I also feel frustrated and angry. The parole board were given the opportunity to do the right thing, having made a flawed decision in the first place. And rather than do that, they've just affirmed the bad decision that they made initially. Sim's release will see him tagged, tracked and banned from contacting the McCourt family. In a statement, the parole board say, Whilst the parole board has every sympathy with Helen McCourt's family, if the board is satisfied that imprisonment is no longer necessary for the protection of the public, they are legally obliged to direct release. An obligation of no comfort to a family prevented from saying goodbye. Well, Rob joins us in the studio now. Rob, you've been speaking to Helen's family today. Yeah, I spoke uh, just a short time ago on the phone to Mike, Helen's brother, who says that while he's disappointed, he's really not surprised. He never expected, he says, the parole board to overturn their decision. He just didn't think that was ever going to happen. But the family had been warned to expect Sim's release in the next few weeks. They've been told it's just a matter now of the, of the paperwork going through. One of the big grounds for this appeal was that the parole board's decision was said to be irrational. The board chairman who went and reconsidered this said that in his view you couldn't possibly, it was impossible to see it as irrational. That's why the appeal failed. But Helen's brother told me the family are not giving up. Wanted to stress that. They want Sims to stay in prison until he admits his guilt, until he reveals where she is. And they're asking their legal team urgently to put this in front of a judge for review. Basically, that judge would then rule on whether or not the parole board's decision was made lawfully. And the important thing, the really important thing in all of that, is that in all likelihood, Sims would stay in prison until that process was finished. OK, Rob, thank you very much indeed.